Hi guys, it's Carol. Today I finally got around to making those Cracker Barrel copycat fried apples. Here we're playing dominoes. Toby is sure he's my partner. He always wants to play with me. I, I think he's deciding which domino to play. We were playing chicken foot. Um, this is a card table and really wobbly. So we had a the wooden thing from Scrabble to hold our dominoes on. Anyway, Toby always thinks he's helping me when we play any kind of game. He's right up there in the middle of it. And usually dropping his ball right in the middle of the table. <laughs> okay, and then uh, here's a picture of my apples. I overcooked them, but they still tasted good. Oh, good grief. I was rather negative about this book. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be. It's just... Well, you can listen to what I say. But anyway, don't listen to my opinion. This book won the Agatha Award for Best uh, First Novel or Best First in a Series. Anyway, this is book one out of 18 titles. So obviously, lots of people think she did a wonderful job writing. And I, sh I you know... I always try to say, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. <laughs> and I did enjoy reading the book, but just just not right after reading Ellery Adams that I thought so highly of. <laughs> okay, but anyway, book one out of 18, now that's saying something, must be pretty darn good to a lot of people. Here comes my, the rest of my review. Hi guys, it's Carol, reading in bed again with my little book light so the dogs won't be up barking and disturbing my neighbors. Anyway, I read this book today. Casey's not done with book four of the Secret Book and Scone Society series. She's not through with that one. I hope she's finishing it tonight. So today I read this book by Laura Durham called Better Off Wed. Um, after reading the Ellery Adams books, this was just, just not the same, uh, not the same I, I, for a cozy mystery. It was good. But after reading that really well-written book, it's just different. But anyway, this is first in a new series, Laura Durham. It says, has twice been named top wedding consultant in Washington, D.C., and her wedding expertise has been featured in several national publications. After stumbling into wedding planning nearly 10 years ago, she's lost count of the number of weddings she's planned. So far, though, no one has been murdered at any of them. <laughs> Better Off Wed, Laura's first novel, is as suspenseful as it is hilarious. I, I like humor. You know I like humor. But the hilarious part was this one girl would get normal sayings mixed up. Like she would say, all that glitters is not mold. You know, once or twice was humorous. <laughs> over and over and over and over again <laughs> irritated me. Um... The storyline was pretty good. Uh, I didn't figure out who who done it. <laughs> uh, it was just a disappointment after reading the Ellery Adams books. They they are just in a class by themselves, I think. But anyway, this is this lady's first novel, so we got to give her some time. Um, better off wed. Okay. The rest of my day, uh, my daughter Becky came to have lunch. She works, she lives on the other side of town from me, and she works fairly close to me, so sometimes she comes to have lunch. Uh, she came today, and my grandkids were here, and then we played dominoes. We, play, we played chicken foot. Um, my back was killing me today. It just hurt so bad. 
I don't have any reason why I haven't been lifting anything or doing anything like that. But my back hurt so incredibly bad. So I was sitting on the couch where I could be more comfortable. And we pulled the table up to the couch, which we often do to play games. And Toby A always, whatever we're playing, he thinks he's playing too. <laughs> He does. He just, he's pretty sure he's my partner. So I'll stick in a picture of that. I made the uh, fried apples today, the Cracker Barrel uh, copycat recipe. <laughs> oh my goodness. They were good. But they only needed to cook in the crock pot for two hours. Well, I put them in the crock pot and then I took t two pain pills and laid down to read. I didn't mean to go to sleep. I was just going to read and until time to take the apples up. Of course, I immediately fell asleep and I overcooked the apples by an hour and a half. So what I ended up with was applesauce. <laughs> it still tasted good, but it was definitely applesauce, not sliced apples. But I'll put the recipe in the description just in case you want to try it. Just don't overcook it. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I know for today. Tomorrow the kids will be here again, my grandkids. Uh, Casey is doing a volunteer project at her church, and she's going to take the kids. They're stuffing backpacks for back to school for, for needy kids. So Casey's going to take my two grandkids to go do that and uh they'll have a good time doing that and other than that i hope casey finishes that book so i can read it tomorrow okay guys i'll talk to you in the next video hope you're all doing okay uh one of my subs sent me two emails i loved them i loved the emails she sent me i appreciate you worrying about me and uh you know, that's what I started this channel for, was I wanted to have friends, and I do. I, I consider you guys friends. And um, I'm going to do a shout-out for two people. Uh, maybe next video. One lady's trying to get her monetization set up, and I'm trying to help her by email. <laughs> I, I want to help her get that set up and going. And other than that, I don't know anything, so I'll see you in the next video. I shouldn't be so negative. This was a good book for, for a cozy mystery. You know, it was a good book, and it's her first novel. And I just thought the Ellery Adams books were so wonderful. It's just, I shouldn't be so negative, though. This lady did a good job. Okay, I'm going to go now. This time it's only 11.30 instead of 2 or 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, I guess I could have read you the blurb about what this uh, book is about. Uh, Better Off Wed. One of Washington, D.C.'s premier wedding planners, Annabelle Archer, prides herself in always providing her brides with a reception to die for. Unfortunately, this time one of the honored guests took it too literally, the poisoning murder of a particularly difficult mother of the bride has cast a pall on Annabelle's latest triumph, and suspicion falls heavily on the caterer, her friend Richard Gerard. Annabelle knows that even her trusted wedding emergency kit won't salvage their careers if she and Richard can't find the real killer, and it won't be easy because the slain matron was one of the most hated socialites in D.C. <laughs> okay, that's what it was about. I'll see you in the next one. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you're doing. Bye-bye.